What about the effect of a catalyst? Look at this data. What do you notice? Not only are the Kc values of the new and original equilibrium equal to one another, but even the concentrations of the reactants and products are unchanged. This is because a catalyst does not disturb equilibrium, so it isn't even right to refer to the original and new equilibrium because it's the same equilibrium. The only difference is that both forward and reverse reactions will be speeded up just as much as one another. And if we had not yet reached equilibrium, then that would have been useful because it would have made the time taken to reach equilibrium shorter. But in this particular example, it had been in equilibrium already, so it has no effect on the concentrations, though it does have an effect on the rates of the forward and reverse reactions. Remember that a catalyst speeds up a reaction by lowering the activation energy required for the reaction to occur. And by lowering the reaction reaction's activation energy that causes a greater proportion of molecules to have sufficient kinetic energy because what that kinetic energy that is sufficient is is lower now that's what lowering activation energy means so a higher proportion have that sufficient kinetic energy than had been the case before the catalyst was added because when the catalyst wasn't there then the requirement for reaction to occur was more stringent more difficult more kinetic energy was needed for the reaction to occur. Catalyst speeds up all reaction rates just as much as one another and because of this it won't favor one reaction rate over another and so it can't disturb an equilibrium. However, if a catalyst is placed in a system which is not yet in equilibrium, it will shorten the time taken to reach equilibrium. It does this because it speeds up both directions of the reversible reaction. This slide summarizes the effects of various stresses which can be applied to systems in equilibrium. Note that only a temperature change can cause a change in Kc. All others have no effect on the Kc value. And also notice that the catalyst does not have any effect at all on the equilibrium, although of course it does decrease the time taken to reach equilibrium, which isn't displayed though in this summary. And then all the data shown here illustrates the Chatelier's principle. The Chatelier's principle applies to all.